Hello guys, I've kind of an intermittent issue with the tractors that they kind of uh, well I have them set up so that they go into a standby mode when they've lost signal to try and stop them like driving off tables or driving through a uh, hedge in a diorama or something like that so uh, when that kicks in the model just stops so what's happening is every once in a while the models are kind of jittering and they're going into the standby mode so I think the problem is possibly the power rail here so today I'm going to do a little bit of a bodge, I'm going to solder a 3.3 volt regulator on the back of this board. The 3.3 volt rail is only going to the NRF24 over here. So what I think I'll do is desolder the pins from here, um, remove that connection so that now the Arduino won't be supplying that 3.3 volts. And on the back, I'll solder 3.3 volt regulator onto the pins of the capacitor. So this capacitor here, its pins are here, the mark 10 microfarad, and I'm going to solder the voltage regulator there and just run a little wire back down to the V-in. So that's the battery voltage or the DC jack voltage. And the regulator then should give us, with any luck, a solid 3.3 volts. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is to solder these pins, but that is not going to be easy. If I can get enough of the solder off maybe I'll be able to pull the pin through to the back it will kind of take a bit of a miracle I'd say I should have cut these pins down well one pin refused to the solder so I had to go for the kind of rougher route of uh, just cutting the trace so I had to cut through the silk screen and then cut through the copper trace that's running along here. So now, if I give it the power, so if we go between a uh, ground and the 3.3 volt rail, we get around about 3.3 volts. Then if we go to the other and we have very little, I'd say that could be just charge left over in the capacitor so what I'm going to do now is put in the voltage regulator on the capacitor and see if that will improve the signal quality ok well here's the little 3.3 uh, volt regulator and here's the bodge wire going down to the V-in so it's just the V-in goes on the outside on the right the outputs in the middle also this larger uh, connection piece here that is uh, also the voltage out to 3.3 volts and this down here is just the ground so that's all there is to that very straightforward and now when we power it up we should have 3.3 volts again ground connection yeah there's perfect stable 3.3 volts so I'll get a tractor and see if the if the fault is still happening it'll be very hard to tell because Sometimes the tractors are working fine and other times they're not. So, you know, I could record this video and the fault might actually still be there. But we'll give it a go anyway, have a look. Okay, here's the Massey. Looks like control is perfect. I'll just show you what was happening. So, uh, maybe you can't see on the screen. Okay, well, uh, on the screen it says Massey 8680. When I flick up, I've now gone to the PC400. And because it's no longer getting the signal for the Massey, the Massey has gone into a standby mode. As I said, this is to prevent it from just driving straight off the table or straight into your diorama that you've been spent ages drilling. It's to stop it going out of control. So because we're now in the in the setup for the because we're now in the mode for the uh, excavator, it knows it's not that signal. But if I go back to the Massey. Now the lights have stopped. Now it would appear that we have solved that problem because the Massey was one of the main tractors that was maybe having this fault the most. With the lights on, it's not making any difference, it's still working fine. Okay, so 
I think that's uh, safe enough to say that um, that was the fault. The 3.3 volt rail just wasn't strong enough on this microcontroller. So as was suggested by some of the viewers, I'm going to have to include this 3.3 volt regulator in the, the PCB design for any future versions of this board. So if I could hit the thumbs up button for you guys I would, because it was you guys who, who kind of come up with the solution for that fault. Very simple, just add that little voltage regulator and it seems to have worked perfectly. So that's all I have for the little fix on the controller. Uh, if you liked the video make sure and hit the like button and uh, anyone with any comments or any other suggestions I'm obviously very happy to, to hear them. It obviously helps me a lot. I've perfect control. That was a quite an annoying issue that I had. So it's great to get that fixed. And um, that's all I had for this video. So thanks very much for watching.